Hello dear friends, myself Sunil Sonigra and today in the subject of mechanical drafting we are going to discuss about the projections and sections of solids. Previously we discussed uh, the basic theories based on projections and sections of uh, solids. Today we will solve the examples, typical examples and basic examples based on the projections of solids. The objective for today's discussion are listed like this. To solve the basic and uh, typical problems based on sectional views, to understand how to draw sectional views of the solid and to identify need of sectional views and true shape of the section. So these are the objectives for today's presentation which will, co which, which will be covered with some examples. The first example based on projections of solids. The data is a hexagonal prism resting on its rectangular face such that the axis is parallel to both the planes HP and VP. It is cut by a cutting plane inclined at 60 degree to, six to horizontal plane and bisect the axis. Draw sectional top view and true shape of the section, side length 25 mm and height or length 60 mm. This problem we solved last time up to half step and the last step are retained. So today we will discuss the remaining steps of this problem. This is the short data hexagonal prism 25 by 60 resting on its rectangular face, cutting plane 60 degree to HP and this is the hexagonal play solid which is shown over here and this data is given to us. We, should, we discussed up to this step hexagonal prism the top view would be hexagon like this as it is given that it is resting on rectangular face we should draw hexagon like this such that two sides are parallel to perpendicular to xy line draw projection lines from the each end and this rectangle shows the front view of this hexagonal prism and this edge is visible in the front view now it is given that it is resting on its rectangular face so we have to shift this and we have to tilt it in such a way that it rests on its rectangular face as hexagonal prism is having six rectangular faces. Now take projections from this front view in, in top view and projections from top view. These are the origi horizontal lines which shows the projections and this is the top view and this is the cutting plane line which makes an angle of 60 degree with xy line and passes through the midpoint of the axis as it is given that it bisects the axis. Then this would be the remaining portion as the upper portion is removed and this would be the top view or a sectional top view of this solid. It means that if we cut this solid then it will appear like this. So this hexagonal irregular hexagonal shape would be the true shape of the section and it could be drawn like this. So let me draw the true shape of this section. Up to this step we have drawn previously. Now in this problem we will solve, we will draw its true shape. This shows the sectional top view, this one as we have drawn. This shows the front view. Now how to draw true shape of this section? That is our objective. So first of all, find out the position of respective point from xy line. For example, p1 point is here. p1 days, p2 days, p3 days, p4 days, p5 days and p6 days. So locate all these points in top view as well. So p1 is here. This is point p1. Here is point p2. Here is point P3, point P4, point P5 and point P6. Six points are here. Now from P1 dash, P2 dash, all these dash points draw a projection line such that it makes an angle of 90 degree with this cutting plane like this. The lines should be drawn from all these points P1, P2, P3 and P4 in such a way that these lines are perpendicular to this cutting plane line. This is green colored line is a cutting plane line 
which makes an angle of 60 degree with xy line now find out the distance of respective points say for example point number p1 from xy line measure this distance xy line to p1 point and from here locate the point so for that first we will draw auxiliary inclined plane means another reference line at any distance from this cutting plane here the line is drawn this both the lines are parallel to each other and distance is irre irrelevant at any distance this line could be drawn you can name it as x dash y dash or x1 y1 or any name could be given now measure the distances of respective points p1 to x y line and line from p1 is this one so mark an arc over here here position of point number p1 is there so mark here point number p1 this is point p1 similarly point number p2 so p2 is here so find out distance of p2 from x y line measure this distance from 2 this is the line so draw an arc over here here is point number p2 so locate this point as point number p2 right now point number p3 so for that what should we do measure the distance from point number p3 to x y line measure this distance right now p3 point is here so line from point p3 is this one right so locate that point on this line somewhere here like this so this distance and this distance both are similar or both are equal so here is point number p3 similarly point number p4 would be here so measure the distance of point number p4 from x y line this is the distance so here point number p4 would be there it would be here then point number p5 similarly point number p5 and point number p6 could be located with the same analogy means p6 to x y line measure the distance put an arc over here and here is point number p6 as it is a hexagonal prism it is having straight faces so join all these points p1 p2 p3 p4 with the straight line curvature shape would not be there as it's a linear solid it is not having any curvature shape or cutting plane is also not with the nature of curvature shape so all these points should be joined with the straight line and this is the true shape of the section and in this true shape we should draw a section lines which makes an angle of 45 degree with this reference line not with x y line you should take care about this these lines these section lines should made an angle of 45 degree with this auxiliary reference plane means x1 y1 or x this y this and write the name of respective views this is true shape the name of view should be written clearly uh, this is sectional top view and this is the front view of this problem so these three steps steps shows the solution of given data i hope it's clear to you now we continue with the second example in second example data is given like this a cone diameter of base 200 mm and height 250 mm is resting on horizontal plane on a point of its periphery of base and the axis makes an angle of 30 degree with horizontal plane it is cut by a cutting plane parallel to horizontal plane and bisecting the axis draw sectional top view front view and true shape of the section here cone is given diameter is 200 mm height is 250 mm so as the length and diameter are long we can reduce the scale or with the help of 1 gem 2 scale or 1 gem 4 scale you can draw the problem so here first we have to draw the circle which shows the top view of the cone so this is the cone and the data could be written in short form like this cone 200 by 250 axis is 30 degree to hp and cutting plane bisecting the axis and parallel to hp so first of all draw x y line 
which represents intersection of both the planes horizontal plane and vertical plane draw a circle below x y line having diameter 200 mm insert the dimension phi 200 then draw axis of this circle means center lines or long dash line then mark height take projections from these end points and mark height 250 mm on the axis and draw a triangle this triangle represents the front view of this given cone up till now it's clear to all of us how to draw front view and top view of the cone of given dimension now it is given that the axis makes an angle of 30 degree with horizontal plane so first of all draw an axis which makes an angle of 30 degree with xy line and on this axis redraw this triangle like this so just we have tilted this triangle or this cone in such a way that the axis makes an angle of 30 degree with xy line now name the end points like this divide this top view into equal number of parts as it is divided into eight equal parts 8 plus 4 plus 4 8 equal divisions of this front view of this top view name the end points 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 and 8 8 points on the outer periphery of this cone and this is imaginary division of the cone now this is apex point o and from all these end points draw vertical lines and name the points in the front view one day is two days and eight days would be on the same point three days and seven days would be here point number four days and six days and point number five days so this is the representation of points in the front view then join these all dash points to the apex point o dash and transfer all these points in this inclined cone or inclined triangle name the end points 1 days 2 days 3 days 4 days 5 days 6 days 7 days and 8 days so both these triangles are of the same dimension but the difference is that the axis of this second triangle makes an angle of 30 degree with xy line now this is apex point o dash draw projection lines from respective points so vertical line from point number 1 days horizontal line from point 1 then vertical line from point 2 days horizontal line from point 2 vertical line from point 3 days horizontal line from point 3 it is similarly point number 4 point number 5 and point number 6 would be here and point number 7 means vertical line from point number 7 days horizontal line from point 7 and point number 8 horizontal line from point 8 so these are the points which should be joined with a smooth curve but let me think about the visibility of this curve and this is the apex point o dash and this is the join all these points with a smooth curve like this but here if you look from the top side from here if you look from here this o 5 o dash 5 dash is visible hence point number 5 would be visible but point number 1 dash will not be visible if you look from the top o dash 1 dash would be invisible so o o dash 1 dash this point or p1 dash should be joined with the dotted curve or dotted line as per the need and join these two points in such a way that this makes this is tangent to this ellipse like this we should not join directly the points we should draw a line in such a way that it passes through the apex point and becomes tangent to this elliptical shape so this is the top view of this solid now it is given that a cutting plane bisecting the axis and parallel to hp so how to draw that cutting plane so these are the edges which will not be visible to be represented by the dotted lines now this is the cutting plane it bisect the axis so find out midpoint of the axis and it would be somewhere here this is the midpoint of the axis and from this midpoint draw a horizontal line it is a cutting plane which is parallel to horizontal plane so whenever it is given that the cutting plane is parallel to horizontal plane it will cut the front view 
So, in front view this horizontal line is drawn. Now, find out the points of intersection between this cutting plane and the this imaginary generators drawn over the outer periphery of this cone. Let me take this one. This is point number 1. So, from point number 1 draw a straight vertical line that will cut O1 at one point it is somewhere here. So, on O1 it will cut over here name that point. Similarly, this cutting plane cuts this imaginary generator at this point. So, from that point draw straight vertical line it will cut these generators at two points. Similarly, this generator two points would be there one point is here another point would be here and last point is somewhere here. So, from that point draw straight vertical line that will cut this elliptical shape one point is here another point is here this one. Now, what is about the visibility of this cutting plane? We assume that this upper portion is removed portion and this lower portion is remained with us. Hence, this one would be removed. So, all these points should be joined with the smooth curve like this, this point. Similarly, erase all this portion as it is not needed and join all these points with the smooth curve. So, this smooth curve shows the top view of this cone. It is a sectional top view. If we cut this cone at this angle somewhere here, it will appear as shown over here like this and this portion will also not visible. So, we could we should erase this portion as well and as it is a sectional view draw section lines which makes an angle of 45 degree with x y line and the distance between each section line should be similar say 1 millimeter or 2 millimeter depends upon the size of the drawing and in examination depends upon the availab availability of the time. And as here this is the front view, this is sectional top view and as this cutting plane is parallel to x y line this sectional top view also represents the true shape of the section. So, this shows the true shape of the section for this problem. So, I hope the solution of this problem is clear to you. This problem is generally asked for 7 marks, 2 marks for each portion, for each view 